Hello and welcome to our Hatha Row, Hatha with a heart. So today we're going to be stretching, stretching into all the tight spots, all the spaces that feel a little bit crunchy and creaky, going with ease, going with breath. So sometimes it's more difficult to, to kind of stay with the breath and the movement when you're going at a slightly quicker pace. So today we're going slowly, um, deliberately, calmly, easing into our bodies. So have fun with it. It's just yoga. Um, and enjoy. Let's get going. So you're going to start coming to the top of your mat, bringing your feet together, toes to touch, heels about an inch apart. Unless you've got any tension in your lower back, then just take your feet about hip distance apart. Feel your feet rooting down into the earth. Lift all ten toes, spread them wide as you begin to grow tall. Closing your eyes, letting your arms hang down by your sides. Feeling the four corners of your feet root down into the earth. The space behind the big toe. The baby toe. Four corners of your feet. Finding your balance. And the inner arches of your feet begin to grow tall, lifting that energy gently up through the midline of your body, up through your spine to the crown of your head as your shoulders relax back. Inhaling, exhale, palms come together at heart center. As you press your palms together, feel your shoulders drop back and the space between your shoulder blades expands as you inhale. Neck and shoulders soften as you exhale. Belly hugs in. Shoulders soften. Breathing in. Breathing out. Feeling that connection from the lower belly towards the spine, particularly on your exhale. Taking one more deep breath in. Exhale, release. <sighs> Inhale, arms rise, gaze lift. The space just beyond your thumb. And if you've got a little space, begin to draw your arms back. Gaze follows, creating a little mini back bend, coming to the upper back. Exhale, leading with chin, bending your knees as much as you need to. Hands come all the way down to the mat. Head relaxes and is heavy. Bum lift. Inhale, flat back, hands to shins or thighs, lengthening through your spine. Look beyond the top of the mat. Exhale, hands down. Knees bent, bum lift, extend through the back side of your legs. Inhale, rise up, arms sweep you up. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Inhale, gaze lifts. Exhale, chin takes you down. Head heavy. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Extend through the back line once more. With an inhale, lifting your right leg and taking it to hip height. With your exhale, foot, knee, down. Inhale, lift chest, lift gaze. Exhale, back. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Spreading your fingers wide. 
As you root firmly into the mat with your palms, press the mat away from you, lifting your hips up and back. Heels down towards the mat. They don't have to get there. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhaling. Exhaling. On an inhale, lift your heels. Roll forward into a high plank. Drop your knees your chest and your chin. Inhale, lift up, heart lifts, cobra. Exhale, back through tabletop, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot lunges forward. Exhale, left knee comes down. Inhale, look up, lengthen, lift the heart. Exhale, step left foot through, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, sweep up, lift up. Exhale, hands together at heart centre. Inhale, lift, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step left foot down, left knee. Inhale, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Filling your back ribs with breath on your inhale. Lifting your tailbone and sending it back up to the sky as you exhale. Feeling the internal shifts with each breath. Not only physical, but the loosening of any tight or stuck spaces in the heart or the head also. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, heart lifts. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right left foot step forward. Right knee comes down. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, step the right foot through, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands together at heart centre. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right leg lift. Exhale, right knee comes down. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps through. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come together. Inhale, gaze lifts. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee. Inhale, heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. 
inhale up exhale downward dog inhale left foot through exhale right knee inhale lift your heart exhale feet meet inhale lift up right exhale hands together once more on each side inhale exhale 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 pausing here Shift in the sequence, bringing crescent moon. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, right foot, right knee. Inhale. Bring hands up, exhale, root down through the heel of the left foot and the ball of the right foot. Inhale, lift up, look up, breathe. With each inhale, rising from your root, from your pelvic floor, all the way up to your fingertips. With each exhale, grounding down, rooting into the earth through the foot, the left foot and the ball of the right foot, shoulders soften. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more inhale and reach forward as you do. Hands come down either side of left foot, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dasana. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, heart lifts, shoulders melt, tops of the feet press into the earth to lift your heart. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps through, left knee comes down as you exhale. Resting breath, inhale. Exhale, come to sit up. 
right foot roots down, left ball of foot roots down, inhale lift up, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, lengthen forward as you take both hands to the mat, taking a breath in, exhale, step forward, inhale, rise up, Exhale, hands together at heart centre. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Belly hugs in to draw you down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg and lift. Exhale, left foot, left knee. Inhaling. Exhale, come up, root down. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Belly hugs in. From the root to the tip, lift. Inhaling, exhale, sweep both hands down. Step back to your high plank, to downward facing dog rather. <laughs> Inhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, or high plank, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog, cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps through. Exhale, right knee comes down. Inhaling. Exhale, come to sit up. Belly hugs, arms lift as you inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, arms sweep forward. Exhale, step both feet through. Head strength heavy. Inhale, rise up. Look up. Exhale, hands together at heart centre. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. On your next inhale, step one leg wide. So you're in a wide leg straddle, about a leg length apart. When you get there, then settle in. So maybe walk a little bit wider apart because when you first come to stand, it's often just a little bit short of where you can really go. So you want to bend your knees a little bit and tilt your pelvis, so your tailbone drops down. It doesn't curl under so much, it's more dropping down towards the earth um, sensation. And as you do, pelvis lifts at the front and belly hugs in. Shoulders lift, roll back as heart lifts. Hands come to your hip hinges, right at the tops of your legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. So keeping a nice flat back, you're sending your hips back to fold forward. So bum back, hinging at your hip sockets. And take a moment, find the juicy spots, particularly into the inside line of your leg and into your hip. And then as you exhale, fold further. Hands stay where they are, broaden across your upper back by sending your shoulders away from you. Taking a deep inhale, exhale, fold further. Inhaling, exhaling, finding the length through your neck by allowing your head to be really heavy. Bring your right palm down to the earth, 
right in front of your face. Draw your right shoulder over your right wrist. Begin to lift your left shoulder. So you can take your left hand to your left shoulder. And first of all, kind of find the stacking. So I'm still really tight in my shoulders. So this doesn't look so pretty. What you're trying to do is feel it. So you're feeling your shoulders stack one on top of the other. And then you're gonna maybe lift your left fingertips towards the ceiling. Taking your gaze up just as far as you can to follow. And staying here with the right palm pressing down, or if it just gives you a bit more access, coming onto the fingertips. Walking your feet a little wider apart if it's there for you. Sit bones, bum back, crown of the head forward. Fingertip to fingertip. Outside line of the foot to hip, lengthen. Find space with each breath in and out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more inhale, exhale, slowly switching hands. Left hand comes down, find your left shoulder, right hand to right shoulder, rolling it open, stacking one on top of the other. Inhale, lift up, look up. Adjusting, finding your space. And when you're there, breathe. Adjusting through every part of your body with each breath, from your toes to your fingertips, and particularly into your joints, your hips and your shoulders. Nudging, squaring, finding space. Release, both hands come down. Hands come to hip sockets once more. Inhaling, halfway lift, exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, bending your knees, stepping to centre. Hands stay on your hips, knees bend, heart lifts, inhaling. Exhale, melt your belly towards your thighs. Get that connection of belly onto thighs. Knees are bent here. Spine is quite long and flat. You're sending your chest out as you bring your belly towards your thighs. On an exhale, relax your head, your shoulders, and then begin to extend through the back line of your leg. Just lifting up behind the knees as much as is there. Soften the shoulders away from the ears and broaden across the upper back once more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down in front of the feet. Inhaling. Exhaling. Sink into the palms and lift the hips up. Hands come behind the shins. Maybe catching hold of the ankles as you fold just that little bit deeper. So with each inhale, feel your hips lift. With each exhale, your head and neck drop. Feeling that space between the shoulders broaden. Release, hands come back to hips. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale. Inhale, lift all the way. Exhale. 
making your way down onto your mat. So I'm going to face you. I'm going to switch my mat quickly. Very DIY. <laughs> Forward folds is something that we spend about a nanosecond doing in a vinyasa practice often. Um, and then in the yin practice we'll be there for 10 minutes or something. And we're trying to do something halfway between the two. So it's an active forward fold, but the intention is to really stretch rather than just compress muscle to bone. So when you're compressing, when you're hugging muscle to bone, finding strength, as we often do through the vinyasa flow, building muscle strength. When we're stretching out, we're also bringing in those connective tissues that hold the muscles together. So stretching the muscles and stretching the connective tissues. So you want to sit onto the bony bits of your bum, so moving the fleshy part of your bum away. Hands come down either side. Feel a lift up, so notice where your hands are. If they've come very far forward, maybe you want to take them a little bit further back to find that lift into the hips, into the lower back. So you want to get a couple of millimetres out your lower back, out of your pelvis lifting your heart. Exhale, release the shoulders. Inhale, lift your arms up. Arm bones hugging into the shoulder sockets, but fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, fold lower belly towards thighs. Keep your heart and arms lifted right to kind of the last moment. And you're bringing your hands just down to the mat. So don't worry about touching ankles or shins. Just let your fingertips come to the mat. And using your fingertips with each inhale, draw your chest forward. And with each exhale, softening your belly towards your thighs. Keep strong through your feet. Send your heels away. Inhaling. Exhale, release head and neck. Breathing in. Breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, look up on lift and reach forward, exhale, inhale, rise up, exhale, hands down, inhale, right foot comes in, right foot to right thigh, and you can take your right arm out to drop that right knee down a little bit, extend strongly through the left leg, the extended leg, inhale, lift up to your left arm, Turn the torso towards the extended leg. On an inhale, reach once more with your heart forward. So belly to thigh, heart stays lifted. Both hands come to the ankle, crossing them over at the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Shoulders soft. Squaring your shoulders as much as you can. Don't worry about hands getting to ankle, getting to feet, getting to anywhere in particular, just let them drop where they come. Feeling your breath. And with each breath, finding space, particularly across your lower back and the back line of your left leg. Release your arms, inhale, rise up, lift up. Exhale, hands come down, send the right foot away. Inhale, bringing the left foot in. Finding that sit bone again. You can draw the left knee down and turn your torso towards the right extended leg. 
inhale lift up exhale begin to fold hands coming wherever they may elbows soft hands soft shoulders are square head and neck relaxing with each inhale lift out of your lower back with each exhale send your heart forward your arms. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Inhale, bringing both feet together, coming into butterfly or Vadakanasana. Soles of feet come together, knees go wide. Once again, sit up. Sit onto the bony bits of your bum. Lift your heart up. Shoulders roll back. So you're working into the inside line of your leg here. The closer your feet are towards your groin, the, the more intense that will be. But be, might be kind to yourself in knowing where you need to go today. And if that means going a little bit stronger, that's absolutely what you should be doing. Um, and if you need to give yourself a little bit more space, then go for that too. So hands can come down to feet, to shins, or in front of the mat. So you're not using your hands to pull. You're just using this uh, as a gentle kind of guide forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Head and neck relax, release, let go. Opening up through the inside line of your leg. From the hips up, it begins. Each inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, right foot comes in. And you want to bring your right foot kind of hip distance apart. So root the right foot firmly into the mat, the right heel and as much as you can the ball of the right foot. On an inhale, lift your right arm. Exhale, reach forward and sweep your right arm behind you, catching either the back of the shin or the heel. Or if you have it, which I don't, in <laughs> your shoulders, you can come all the way and bind. So if you're binding, you're taking your right arm all the way round your lower back. You need a lot more access into your shoulders to do that than I have. So inhale, lifting your left arm. Exhale, reaching forward. Keep rooting the heel of the right foot down into the earth and extending through the left leg as you draw your torso towards your thigh and your heart forward, head and neck heavy. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Send right foot away. Inhale, left leg comes in, left foot comes in. Extend through the right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take the bind. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. 
And if like me, your legs tend to turn externally, so drop out the way, so your heels drop out into like a ballet dancer shape, in all of these forward folds, keep gently rotating the inner thighs in, engaging through the inside line of the leg. You get a little bit lazy through that inside line, or I certainly can, so keep working on gently drawing into the midline as you extend, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale rise up, exhale release, right foot comes in once more, so bringing the right foot in, you're taking the left arm around the right knee, so crook, um, hook your left elbow around your right knee, and sit up tall here, so notice if you kind of slumped into your lower back, draw up on an inhale, extend through that left leg, you're taking your right arm behind your back. So just hold it to wherever it comes, whether that comes all the way into your left hip socket or just to your mid back. But without using that support of your right hand down on the mat, lift up and begin to exhale, twist. Twisting right from the space below and behind your belly button. So uncoiling up your spine rather than just hauling your shoulder back, slowly guiding your gaze and your torso with each breath. And exhale, slowly beginning to release. Inhale, left foot comes through. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, take the bind. Left knee comes into the crook of the right arm. Left arm comes behind. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, begin to twist. Breathing in. Breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling, exhale, release. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knees draw in. Catching opposite elbows with opposite hands. Hug your knees towards your chest and then round your spine. So forehead comes towards knee and you're pressing your spine away from you. Slowly make your way onto your tummy. Working through the front line of the body now. 
you know, work into Sphinx. So bringing your shins down to the mat, and you want to create kind of 90 degree angles with your elbows. So you're bringing your elbows below your shoulders. Palms spread wide or palms together at heart set at, in prayer, whichever works for you. Take your feet about hip distance apart for here. So this is thinking about engaging through the front line of the body. So rather than in yin where we let it go, we're really pulling in. So first of all, draw the pit of your belly or the space just below your belly button, gently towards your spine. Start from there, lifting it up underneath your rib cage. And as you do, begin to lift your heart and lift your chin, feeling your shoulders draw away from you. And your heart lifts as your chin lifts. Legs are strong, feeling that engagement through the front line of the legs thighs lifted and then very naturally the glutes the butt will switch on too with each inhale lifting with each exhale softening the shoulders away inhale Exhale, take your gaze slowly around one forearm, doesn't matter which. So you're going to drop, so I'm going to look over my left shoulder. So I'm going to drop my left, right shoulder, hands stay rooted into the earth, belly stays switched on. And I'm looking in the direction of my left heel. So still a lift through the front line of the body as you gently twist. Inhaling, exhale, return to center. Taking a breath in, exhale, twist the other way. Noticing if the elbows splay out and just drawing them back together. And you may not see your heel today or this morning, maybe it's an afternoon thing for you. Keep hugging that belly in, lifting your heart as you twist with each breath. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, release. Cobra, bringing your hands to mid chest. So below your shoulders, you can keep your feet where they are, hip distance apart. Press your hands down into the mat lightly. Feel the pit of your belly draw in once more. So feel the pelvis press into the mat, belly hugs in, thighs switch on. So you'll feel your knees lift off the mat, the tops of your feet really root down. So from the pit of your belly, lift up. So there's almost no effort in the shoulders. There is obviously a little bit, but the real kind of support comes from the torso. Lift your chin, shoulders draw back. Taking a breath in. On an exhale, slowly release. Again, moving from your belly, so not collapsing down. Taking an inhale. Exhale, inhale, pelvis presses in, belly hugs in, lifting from there, inhale, rise up, exhale, slowly come down, inhaling, exhaling, Engaging everything, drawing in and up. On an inhale, lift up. And pausing here for three breaths.
inhaling, exhale with control, elbows hug in as you slowly lower down, release, arms out to the side. Leg kiss. Bringing your hands, your arms beneath you so that your um, fists are touching one another just at your pelvis. Elbows as close together as you can get them. Feet and legs draw together here. But again, engaging from the tops of your feet. Feel your knees lift, your thighs lift, your belly lift, your pelvis press into the mat. Chin and forehead can stay down for now. On an inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, keep it lifted. Inhaling. Exhale, with control, right leg comes down. Inhale, lift left leg. Lifting from the hip sockets rather than the toes. Exhale. Inhale, stay lifted. Exhale again from the hip socket, slowly lower the whole leg down. Leg, leg stay engaged, belly stays engaged. Lower back extends by sending tailbone down towards your heels. Inhale, left right leg. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, inhaling, slowly with control as you exhale lower. Once again, bringing both legs together, this time moving both legs at the same time. Inhale, lift your leg, lift your heart, lift your chin, gaze forward. Keep lifting as you breathe in and you breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling, one more inhale, exhale with control, both legs come down, chin comes down, releasing your arms, hands come just underneath your shoulders once more, coming up through tabletop. To a melting heart, so arms reach forward. Heart drops down towards the mat. Chin can come to the mat or forehead, wherever there's access for you. And think about melting your armpits down towards the mat. Hips stay stacked over knees. If it's feeling a bit too much through one shoulder, you can bring the forearm of that shoulder parallel with the top of the mat. Or both, if that's what you need to do today. Finding that gentle compression in the back of the, the arm, uh, shoulders as you melt your armpits down towards the mat a little bit more. Hands come just below shoulders. Send your hips back, knees come together for child's pose. Forehead to the mat, either the space between the eyebrows or the hairline, wherever feels right for you today. Catching opposite forearms with opposite hands behind your back. Letting your belly soften over your thighs. Hands come down just below shoulders, hips sink back towards heels and from there with your head staying heavy and down, begin to roll up one vertebra at a time, feeling each vertebra stretch one on top of the other, 
the shoulders come up and back and the head lifts. Eyes stay closed, breathing in. Breathing out. Coming onto your back. Preparing for shoulder stands. Find your shoulders resting down on the mat. So lifting them, dropping the shoulders, lifting the back of the head, lengthening through the back line of the neck, whatever you need to do. Knees hug in, legs lift up, arms lift, elbows are, shoulders rather, are dropping towards the mat. As you lift your heels, draw the pit of your belly in and just lift a millimetre of your butt off the mat. So you're really engaging through the lower belly. And as you reach your fingertips towards the sky, keep drawing those arm bones back into the shoulder socket. So you're strong through the front line of your body here. Arms can relax, shoulders relax. And from here, using that space, right at the pit of your belly that you've engaged, you're gonna to begin to roll. So I'm gonna just move a little bit because of your theme. So begin to roll, and as soon as you've got some space, catch the back of your lower back of your hands and draw your elbows together. Knees can bend as much as you need to. It's all very good <laughs> talking and doing this at the same time. So knees can come right in towards your face, or you can extend your legs back, whichever feels good for you. And you're letting gravity do the work here, so don't be pushing. You've got to go very gently through your shoulders and particularly around your neck. So this is really about the upper back and then it's gently working into the shoulders and into the neck. So slowly letting the gravity take you, one breath at a time. This is a great posture to hold in yin for up to five minutes. So we're not going to do that here. But you literally let your breath drop into your body and the posture drop into the tissues. If your toes come down, you can release your arms. Mine aren't quite there this morning. Noticing where you feel tension and just easing yourself into that space, using breath and patience. And inhale, beginning to lift up. So belly hugs in. Keeping your legs just as straight as you can. Hinging from your hip sockets. Lift up. And it's a real sense of rising. Gaze stays between the feet, between the knees, between somewhere on the midline of your body. Feet can be soft, but legs are strong, engaged, and lifting. Taking a deep breath in, as you exhale, as slowly as you can, pulling in from the pit of your belly and hinging at your hip sockets, keeping your legs as straight as they're gonna allow you to stay. Again, let gravity take you back down. So let your feet and legs begin to feel heavy. Arms come down to the mat. And very slowly, on an exhale, begin to peel one vertebra at a time. So go as slow as you can.
lifting the heels. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And this time on an inhale, slowly lowering your legs as straight as you can once more. Release. Taking a breath in and a breath out. Coming into your fish. So this time you're walking your hands, palms face down underneath your butt, elbows as close as you can get them together this time. Tap, legs lengthen. And so your toes are pointed, which is kind of unusual. Most of the time our toes are flexed, but pointing the toes down. Lift up onto the front. And really lift your heart. Belly hug is in heart lift. And then see how it feels in your neck. Slowly begin to take your head, crown of your head towards the earth, lifting your heart, feeling the strength in your forearms, your biceps. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling your whole chest lift and expand. And then this back bend is quite nice to keep your eyes open. One more inhale, exhale with control, slowly lift your head and drop your shoulders back down towards the mat, easing yourself out. So you've got options for your final rest, either coming into rest or pose with knees up, hands just to your lower belly or down towards the floor, palms facing up. Or making your way into Shavasana left, legs long, again arms out by your sides, giving yourself some space, taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Inhaling your arms over your head, yawning from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers, waking up every cell in your body. And you exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest, roll them to one side. Inhale, coming up to a comfortable seat, bringing your hands together at heart centre. Eyes closed or gaze soft, with an inhale lifting the crown of your head towards the ceiling. With an exhale, rooting your sit bones down into the earth, taking a deep breath in and out. 
another one in. And release. Thumb knuckles the third eye center in between your eyebrows. With a quiet mind and an open heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this stretch and move practice. If you have any um, comments or uh, requests or anything else, please either drop them into the YouTube or just send me an email. Thanks. Bye.